Cam Rogers here. Let's take a look at the Bills preseason profile. And looking back to the offseason additions, A.J. McCarron sticks out, Chris Ivory as well. A couple of first round picks to their credit. But let's talk about A.J. McCarron because now the Buffalo Bills can look past the debacle that was the Tyrod Taylor situation. That was just crazy from the beginning, the benching and then the starting and all of this stuff. No, AJ McCarron is now the favorite to be the starting quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. I'll talk about the depth chart later. You'll see what I think about that. Meanwhile, Chris Ivory, well, it sure turns out he could be an insurance policy for the whole LaShawn McCoy legal situation that's going on right now. Meanwhile, the first round selections, Josh Allen, incredibly raw, but has really good upside, great arm. I think he fits well in Buffalo. It's going to take some time for Josh Allen to be a starter in the league, though. Meanwhile, Tremaine Edmonds, very athletic linebacker, great speed, great intelligence, pretty good instincts as well. He could be a nice little Leo rusher coming around the edge there. For Buffalo, though, the key losses, and boy, are they key. Tyrod Taylor, not so much. These two, yes. Richie Incognito was a premier guard in the NFL last year, and Cordy Glenn is still pretty darn solid at the tackle position. So offseason grade of D-plus for Buffalo. In all, they lost three key cogs to that offensive line. Eric Wood, Richie Incognito, and Cordy Glenn. I don't know how you can be better on that front five when you lose those three players. Meanwhile, Jordan Matthews, was never really all that good, but it further exposes a pretty darn shallow wide receiver depth chart for the Buffalo Bills. So did the Bills get better? No. Did they stay pat? No, I think they got minorly worse. So D plus in terms of the offseason for the Bills. Let's take a look at the preseason schedule now. Carolina, Cleveland, Cincinnati in the dress rehearsal game, and then at Chicago to wrap things up. Let's zone in on that week three game against the Cincinnati Bengals and all eyes will be on who starts at the quarterback position. Will it be A.J. McCarron? Maybe Josh Allen turns some heads and he'll be the starter in week three. Meanwhile, I'm going back to the offensive line. It's going to be a major test against that front for Cincinnati. How can they defend? The revamped offensive line is going to have to find a way to block Geno Atkins and a bunch of other very talented linemen for the Cincinnati Bengals. When you have John Miller and Vladimir Dukas as your best offensive linemen, if you're a Buffalo Bills fan, you're a little scared. So big test here for the Bills against a pretty darn solid and well-coached Cincinnati Bengals defense. All right, let's take a look at the top training camp storylines for the Bills. And of course, we're going to zone in on the quarterback position. Who wins the starting gig? It's among these three guys, A.J. McCarron, Nathan Peterman, and Josh Allen. In general, the starting job is up in the air, but I am giving the edge to A.J. McCarron. He has shown some pretty good flashes in his career, and I might be more high on A.J. than the average Joe out there, but I think he can be a viable starter in the National Football League. So my gut does say that A.J. is going to win the gig. I'm not going to rule out Nathan Peterman. There has been some buzz that he is impressing a lot of the coaching staff out there. And Josh Allen, it's the waiting game with him. He cannot be the week one starter for the Buffalo Bills. That would be a major mistake. All right, meanwhile, the whole LaShawn McCoy situation, when is that going to come to some sort of resolution here? McCoy's involvement or a lack thereof with this whole domestic violence accusation is up in the air and this is very much a fluid situation folks. If it's proven that McCoy was involved in that robbery there, uh, it's likely he is cut from the Buffalo Bills. I don't think it gets to that point, but are you guys worried about the LaShawn McCoy legal situation that is ongoing? There have been many statements out there from many different parties contradictory or not about the involvement here of LaShawn McCoy and from what I can gather it sounds like he was not involved but it does seem like a fishy situation and a big headache for the Buffalo Bills leadership right now as they're trying to build a football team for the 2018 regular season and then back to the offensive line is it going to regress for Buffalo I think the answer is yes when I talk about names like Eric Wood 
and Corey Glenn and Richie Incognito no longer being on that front five, that line's gonna be exposed. And the Buffalo Bills live and breed the run game. If they cannot get any push on that point of attack for the regular season, LaShawn McCoy is not going to have any holes to run through, and then it's gonna be A.J. McCarron throwing the football 35 times a game, which is exactly what Buffalo does not want. All right, let's take a look at the regular season schedule now, and the Bills will kick things off at M&T Bank Stadium against the Baltimore Ravens. Really tough first four games, really first six games, to be honest with you. After that, it's the Chargers and then the Vikings, Packers at Lambeau, Tennessee, Houston at Indianapolis, and then at home against New England on Monday Night Football, followed by the second half of the season, Chicago, the Jets, the Jaguars, the Dolphins, the Jets again, the Lions, and then at New England, and to wrap things up against the Miami Dolphins. In terms of Super Bowl 53 prognostications, the odds are not very good. Plus 10,000 for the Buffalo Bills. In my projection, the Bills will finish third in the AFC East behind the Jets and behind New England. The Bills are better than the Miami Dolphins. I don't think they are better than the New York Jets. The Jets and the Bills and the Dolphins will be competing for last place in the AFC East. Luckily, Buffalo gets out of that with a third place finish, not last place. So there you go. Where will the Bills finish in the AFC East? Let me know in comments. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Head on to youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Get it done.